I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn few things about scatter plot. We will draw a line of best fit and also find its equation. The question here is the data shows heights of some grade 9 students and their fathers in centimeters. So grade 9 students height is 160, height of father is 168. So we have few data points here. I'd like you to pause this video and answer the following questions first and then we'll move on in plotting scatter plot and getting some more information from the plot itself. So the first question here is independent variable is what in this data given to you? Variable is discrete or continuous. Should you consider this data with variables as discrete or continuous? Then based on that dashed line or solid line when you draw line of best fit should you draw a solid line or a dashed line and the last question here is can there be a relationship right so the answers for this is independent variable is what now here we are measuring height of students knowing the height of father so independent variable is height of father You understand why knowing the height of father we are measuring the height of students so we are trying to correlate height of student with father that is why height of father will be independent variable second question is variable is discrete or continuous so you can have height in decimals right so it is continuous The variable is continuous because heights could be in decimals, right? So because we can say heights could be in decimals. Not just discrete numbers as shown in this table, right? Now, dashed line or sorted line. Since we know it is continuous, solid lines make sense is it okay so therefore we will use solid lines so whenever the data is continuous we should use solid lines for best fit line is it okay we'll draw the line of best fit for the given data uh, in just few moments can there be a relationship so we have defined two kinds of variables so, and what do we see here we see that if father is tall the student has greater height so we do see a trend so the answer is yes right so we have a trend here uh, inherit height from father right that is what we are seeing here correct so now what we will do in the second part of this video uh, write down this data plot uh, the scatter plot and now what we are going to do here is that we will copy the information which was given to us regarding height of father and child right so we'll write height of father and height of child which in this case happens to be a student also right okay and both these heights are in centimeters both these heights are in centimeters so i'll take the values from this table which we had seen in the first part father side 168 students or child side 160 copy these values first right so that's my first part so it is 168 160 then it is 162, 155, then we have 182, 175, 176, and 163, 190, and 182, and we have 180, 172, the last value is 184, 176, right? So these are the values which I have copied. You don't really have to arrange them 
right? So you don't really have to arrange them in particular order. Now let's decide how to make a scatter plot out of these. So to draw a scatter plot, we have to decide what goes along the x-axis and what goes along the y-axis. Clearly, father's height will go along the x-axis, so, so that is father's height. And the student's or children's height will go along the, uh, the y-axis. Both are in centimeters, right? So this uh, father's height in centimeters. So that becomes the graph. Now we have to decide about the scale. This is very important. To decide scale, we we'll look into minimum and maximum values. So amongst this data, 155 is minimum for student and maximum seems to be 182. As far as father is concerned, 190 is maximum and 162 is the minimum data, correct? So that is defining the range of the data, correct? So for father, what we should do is we should break the scale. There are no values and for also student we should break the scale uh, since we know that the information given to us starts with more than 160. So we'll write this as like 160 to begin with. Correct. So I hope this step of choosing scale is clear to you. So it is 160 here. We have to go up to uh, 90. So we could have three units within this period. So it should be 160, 170, 180 and 190. Right. So we have 170, 180, 190, uniformly distributed. As far as the students go, minimum is 155. This is a good idea to start with 150, is it okay? Maximum is 180. So we have to make 60, 70, 80, and 90, four scales. So let's say 150, 160, 170. My sketches will be uh, kind of rough. But I hope they will give you an idea of how to do things. When you do it on a graph paper, you'll get much, much better results, right? Okay, so let's plot points one by one. 168, 160 means this is like half, 168 closer to 70. So, and then we'll go up uh, like this and 160 like this and we get a point. So that is the point which is the first point. Second is 162, 155. 162 is kind of here. And then we have 155, which is midway. So these two will meet here, right? So we've done this. 182, 175. That is 185. 82 will be almost half of this. And then 175 will be midway. So you can go like this, correct, and get a value. 176, 163. 76 is more than half, so we'll go like this and 163 is close to this, right? So 165 lower, right? So kind of here. So we got this. 190, 182, 190 is right there, go up. 182 is more than this, we'll go like this, and we get a point. 180, 180, 172, so 180 go up. <sighs> 172, so we'll go further up. And 172 will be kind of like this, we get a point. Do you see that? Okay. 184, 176, 84 is uh, <clears throat> kind of here, midway. Okay. And then 176, which is more than half. Okay. So kind of here, so we get a point. So these are the points which we have plotted from the given information. Is it okay? <clears throat> what kind of trend do you see here? What we see here is rising. So let's write about this. So whenever you see something like this, well, let's talk about the trend now. So every scatter plot gives you a trend. So we'll say trend is rising. Trend. Is the correlation strong or weak? It seems that most of the points lie on a line. Uh, so when you draw a line, we have to we, what we can do is we can keep this point down, this point above, and join these points. Do you see that? So that seems to be a good line of best fit. So this is our line 
of best fit. So what we ensured was that points are same distance away. So line of best fit, why are we saying? We say you see points are uniform. distributed so above and below right you see and most of them on the line so that gives you a very good uh, line since most of the time we see points are on the line we will say correlation is good it is not the best well some points are away it is not the best but it is good fair enough right so that means interpolation will be accurate do you see that accurate means if I want to know that a height of some father is 175 what should be the height of the student so that is in between data is it okay so that interpolation will be accurate from this particular uh, data even extrapolation will not be bad <clears throat> extrapolation will be I, I should say okay right normally extrapolations are not that accurate right so for example if I say uh, that the height of the father is 195 what should be the height of the student right now 195 is not in our scale uh, but well we could figure it out right so 195 will be somewhere here we could say the height of the student is we could bring it here and extrapolate do you see that for interpolation 175 uh, is midway between so we'll go up like this and then we'll say well the height should be kind of like this do you see that so so 175 and 195 we could extrapolate from a scatter plot correct we could do all this from algebra also finding equation of line so that is what we will do now we will see how to find equation of line of best fit right this line which we have so finding equation we can use two points let's call this point as one point and let's say this point as the other point so we'll say point a and b so point a we chose which was slightly less than 170 so let it be 168 so we say a is 168 160 and B is uh, the last point 190 182 correct knowing these two points we can find equation of the line equation of the line can be written as y equals to mx plus B where M is the slope so let's find slope first M so M will be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so y2 is 182 here 182 minus 160 divided by 190 minus 168 correct so so that gives you uh, m value as uh, 22 22 divided by this minus this which is also 22 in our case easy for me slope is just one great job so we got a slope of one for this particular situation normally you won't get a number like this you'll get some decimal numbers good for me now i'll continue saying my slope is one and since the equation is y equals to mx plus b i can use a point and let me use the point uh, 190 182 to find equation so y value is 182 so i can write 182 equals to slope of one times x value 190 plus b so from here I know 182 minus 190 equals to B which is minus 8 since B is minus 8 what is the equation of the line for me it is y equals to slope is 1 x minus 8 do you see that so I get equation of my line which is y equals to x minus 8 so now you could also find your answer for these two heights using equation right so for 175 value of x a value of y what is x so you could write this as x equals to uh, uh, 
okay so I did I do something wrong here because X has to be yeah so Y is student's height so Y is student's height okay so we know this value of X uh, sorry 175 so Y the student height for 175 will be let's say Y equals to 175 minus 8 for example so let's do it uh, if you take away 5 it is 170 3 more so it is 167 correct and the other height could be 195 minus 8 is it okay so 195 minus 8 will be 20 more correct 20 more so it is 187 so those are the two answers which we get from the equation do you see that from the equation but with this example I hope you understand how using a data which we started with right there this data we could draw a line of best fit find its equation and then interpolate or extrapolate to get more information from the graph as well as from the line of as well as from the equation itself so i hope that brings to a closer now you understand all the concepts Feel free to post your questions and doubts if you have any. I'll appreciate if you share this video with your friends. And if you like, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.